What's up guys, a very short update on Bitcoin. I'm sorry I haven't been here for a while, but I'm doing a lot of the tweets, a lot of the posts on Telegram. So if you did subscribe or you do follow my Telegram chat or a channel, probably you know everything that I had on the price of Bitcoin these days. Basically, we had this correction as I told you in one of those posts, like we had two ways up or down as usual, but depending on where we will go from the zone of this accumulation at around $8,400. We will either will go to the zone of the short orders stop losses where they are accumulated or the long orders stop losses. So we went exactly here to the second scenario below 78.6% by Fibonacci. And then we are seemingly having a support right now there. Um, there are two things which I don't really like. First thing is that we have already like uh, one, two, three tests of this support, which was a triangle before, and then we broke it downwards. So now we return to this tri to, into this triangle because it was a fourth test. Usually after the fourth te test uh, of the trend line, Bitcoin does break it. Then what happens next is that we have almost a third time test of this support. And although until we are still above this support is still okay, I mean, we are not going to $7,000 or $6,000, but the more we test it, the more likely it will be broken. So it was almost a second, a third, sorry, a third test of this support. So I would anticipate it to be broken as soon as we'll have a fourth test, uh, if we of course ever will have it. So far, we had such a long and massive drop that I think would have a pullback to some extent since we are very oversold and we also went below $8,000 which is a critical like psychological level but at the same time we are still in the zone when nobody knows where we are going let's say uh, on the RSI I would actually now look at this kind of a triangular formation when we are in between these two support and resistance lines and uh, we are close actually very close to the apex of this formation this triangle and then as soon as we will break one way or another it probably will define to a lot of extent uh, the further move on the price of Bitcoin. Also, in terms of the stochastic oscillator, you see we are still heading down. And although, of course, we can make something like this and make a like a relief rally, which is probably could be anticipated right now. But at the same time, without that, we will go lower to the oversold area. And that would bring us probably below maybe even um, $7,700 because this is again the new zone where a lot of the stop orders are collected. You see the volume is basically next to zero and everything which is happening right now is the process of shaking out all of the marginal traders. Both sides up and down so I don't think that as soon as we will not go below let's say $7,400 like below previous support where a lot of people may actually start to panic and sell their coins uh, in order to cover their profits or even losses until then we will still have very low volume and will not have a panic sell and then will not, not have a v-shape reversal on a huge volume so until then I would stay probably very cautious and we'll look at how the price will react with those supports and resistances and now we also in a very narrow range of Bollinger Bands so probably as soon as we will go above or below it will be also an indication for the next move well up or down but again now we are in kind of a land which is not defined and it's very uncertain where we will go still the chart looks generally very bearish like we have this potential bear flag and a lot of people are pointing this out we have all the moving averages above our price and the selling pressure is very strong especially Especially if you look at how the price did react with those supports, like when we have the significant drop, basically the volume is very, very low. Like here, of course, a lot of the stop orders got liquidated and here almost no volume here. Well, some volume here also. Well, it's, it's more than the background volume, of course, but still it is very, very low. And even here, when we went below $8,000, the volume is nothing comparable to the one, let's say, which we had before trading uh, above uh, $9,000, especially at the vicinity of the all time high. So I would say that even pullbacks like from the, this, that support are getting very weak and 
right here you see we don't have any kind of v-shape reversal we just moved sideways for a while until we went to the upside so it's kind of a well it looks like a manipulative move because there is no supply and demand fight there is no indication of the reversal price just goes wherever it wants and it's really actually hard to make some reasonable ta on that the only thing which i would also point out is this um, wedge descending wedge formation which we looked at quite long time ago and you see right now we are kind of approaching to the apex of this wedge which is still like six thousand dollars is pretty pretty low but i wouldn't say that if this is playing out then it will, will go exactly there so maybe something like seven thousand seven thousand five hundred dollars as the lowest point and then since this is the formation which is statistically broken to the upside in like two-thirds of cases then again if it will play out then we will be able to see the growth of price of bitcoin somewhere around here maybe even already from there if this kind of a bull flag will play out although it's already getting really ugly well one way or another uh I think the worst thing to do right now is to try to make leverage trading but if you want just to buy some physical bitcoin at this area i think it's not a bad idea even if it will go much lower eventually it will recover it's just a matter of time in any case let's look how the price will react with this support let's look how the price will pull back from that area if it will then maybe we'll get some decent move to the upside and maybe even test the resistance over here and in the next videos i will probably make a more detailed update on some fundamentals or fundamental like things so far that is it for today i hope that this was useful thank you for watching